Dun, 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 <laughs> Here this we is are. The mother of all the mother elevator problems. Of the elevator problems. Oh, indeed it is. It's everything all put together. It's got kinematics in there, right? Uh-huh. So you see times and velocities. You know right away you're going to have to figure out an acceleration indeed. and kinematics. Line. Yeah, we've got to. Okay, so let's uh, let's make kinematics land over here, shall we? It's always on the right I side. Think so, yeah. Okay, so let's figure that out because it looks like we've got initial velocity, right? Yep, but there's a trick there. Don't forget, it says moving downwards. All right, so we're going to make that guy negative. Uh huh. Okay, arrests its motion. That's clever language for, for the final yeah, velocity zero. Is zero. And then that's not so clever language for time. Right? Yeah. That's pretty okay, simple. so let's set this guy up. X V I. B, F, A, and T, right? And as always, whenever we go to linear kinematics land, it's so that we can get an acceleration. Indeed, that's all we care about, right? So this is negative 5.31. Yep. This is 0. This is uh, 2.10. And I feel this equation coming on, right? We don't e care. F we don't care. Wait, I tried no. to cross out the X. We don't care about the X, right? We just care about A. So we're going to do B, B F, F is V, I. Plus, plus AT. AT, right? So uh, let's put that in there. Let's see. The final velocity is zero, and that equals our initial, which is it's moving down, minus 5.31 plus A times 2.10. So it looks like we're going to we, get a positive acceleration. What does that mean, Mr. Murray? Yeah, it does look that way. Now, I was, I was going to let you know a dark little secret about me is that, that I know that if it stops moving down, that it accelerates up. Because in that case, uh -huh. in the elevator, you feel heavier. That's so right. even if I mess up the, the, um, the minus sign here or something, and I get a negative acceleration, I would ignore that and make it positive. But, yep. you know. It's going to turn out the way we want to. I think so. So we're going to add 5.31 yep. to both sides of the equation. So, so this 5 is 5.31. Equals A times 2.10. So 5.31. That's how it's positive, right? Divide by 2.1. We're going to get 2.52857142857, but we'll just take it out to four places. Five. Five, two, nine. There we go. So that's one more digit than we've got like three digits there, right? We're just going to carry one more digit, and that's meters per second squared, and that's definitely positive, okay? And then the other thing we've got to do, now we've got to go over here and do this, yep. right? But so, so this is just a standard elevator problem. We figure out the weight. Uh, the weight is M times... G, so it's 1350 times 9.8. Times 9.8. That's 13,230. Right? So this force is downward, right? And that's 13,230. Yep. That guy's going to be negative. The unknown force is, you know, well, I'm, I think it's up, don't you think? It's up. But we're going to pretend we don't know. Yeah, we're just going to assign it F. Right? We're just going to say. If you don't know what a force is, just call it F. And yeah. overall, the sum of the forces, F equals MA. That's yep. where you always start. But there's more than one force. So I know it's going to be the force we don't know, minus 13,230. And that's going to equal 1,350 times the acceleration we got in linear kinematics land, which is 2.529. You said kinematics. This guy's no, positive. I didn't. I said kinematics. <laughs> so... Then if I go 1350 times 2.529, I get 3,414.15. Okay, so let's uh, let's go F. So now to get that force that we don't know, I have add to that. add, yeah, add 13,230. So I get 16,644. Okay, hold on. Say that again. 16,644. All right. One, five. <laughs> That's <newtons. good. laughs> All right. So 16,644 newtons. And then we were rounding to like four places. We have three places. So I think we got to round that to about three places. Yep. And there's right. a number of ways you could do this. You could go 16.6 yeah. kilonewtons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we could say, so we could say, 16,600 newtons, right? A kilonewton is 1,000 newtons. So if you divide that by 1,000, you could say that it's 16.6 kilonewtons. Now, we'll pay you a little more if you, if you uh, do that. Either one's fine. Yeah. 
I don't really, really, I don't really, really care. Really if wanted you... to be tricky, you could say one point six six times ten to the fourth. But that would kind of that's, <laughs> that's the kind of stuff that I know. That's crazy. Talk. Yeah, that makes the other kids look at you weird. Yeah, but you you secretly you're happy because you're demonstrating that you're pretty dang smart. Then yeah. Hey, we got that video done. Did I ever tell you the, ta the talking muffin joke? No, but that's kind of like the secret code word at the end of this video. What is the I talking would, muffin I already joke? stopped the video, though. Oh. Yeah. Okay, these two muffins are sitting in the oven. Right? Yeah, they and, are. Yeah. <laughs> one, one of them looks over the other one and says, you know, I think it's kind of hot in here. Right? Yeah. And uh, the other muffin goes, whoa, talking muffin. <laughs> See, that's, <laughs> that's funny because they both can talk. Oh, God. Did I... <laughs> Did I stop it? No, I guess you didn't.